Welcome fly tires to another G snail fly tying video. The G snail is a pattern that we invented here a couple years ago and I believe it's one of the best snail patterns on YouTube. So we're going to show you how to tie one today. The history of the G snail fly is we were fishing in Colorado and we just weren't catching the fish. Couldn't figure out why, what we were doing wrong, but we just, we could never get the fish to bite consistently, but I could see him feeding all the time. So I got looking in the water and there was these little tiny, probably size 14 to 16 snails in the water. And I thought, wow, that's what those fish are feeding on. And so anyway, after that, I went back to the fly desk and started tying different snail patterns, trying to get the right one. And this is what we came up with. So today we're going to tie a smaller version of the G snail. So the first thing I've done is I've put some ultra chenille. Some people call it micro chenille. And I just put a little tiny bit on there. For a tail. Then what I do is I get a trusty Bic lighter and I burn it so it's got a nice little snail looking point there. Burn it just a little bit more. There's a little tiny fiber there. There. So that's the first part of the G snail. Then what we're going to do, I'm going to tie this one a little bit different than we have before. We're going to get some nymph. Um, this is like colored latex. It's called nymph body. I actually got this off of eBay. And this is just an olive color. And I'm going to wrap it on the hook. And I kind of overlay it around the hook and then wrap it because I want the underbelly of the snail to have this green color and I don't want the hook showing through. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch it and we're going to wrap a couple tight wraps and then we're going to get looser and looser looser kind of build it up and then we're going to start wrapping tight after about three wraps. And what that does is it gives us our snail shape. These freshwater shells are big and bulky in the middle. And then they taper off to a nice pointed taper on each side. So once we get to this point, because this is a smaller hook, by the way, I'm actually using um, thinner thread. I'm not using my regular monocord. I'm just using like a 6 aught. I think it's Flymaster or something, but it's definitely not as thick as monocord. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some just regular fishing line. And if you can, use at least 8 pound test. And what I do is I tie them on in a V pattern. And these are going to be our antennae. Antenna. Antennae. I don't know how you say it. Just like so. Then what we'll do is we'll get our whip finisher. Actually, gonna pull that back. I'm gonna whip finish it underneath my antenna. So we're to that point. All right. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut these down just a little bit. Turn that so you can see what we're about to do. 
Gonna get our trusty lighter. Oh, and you can see what I did is I burned it. It comes to a little burnt tip, and it's some nice little antennas on this snail. So, it's already looking awesome. Now what I like to do is I like to get a brown marker and I like to put a little bit of character in my snail shells. So I'm going to put a few little lines there. Go down the side. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to get some UV glue and I'm going to get the thick glue. And what we do is we just start building up the shell a little bit at a time. Pretty liberal with the amount of glue we put on this. I'll actually put just a little bit more on top. Okay, you can see that builds us up a nice looking snail shell. And then the last step is I turn it upside down and I get just a little bit of thin. And what that does is it gives my underbelly kind of that snaily, wet um, look on the underbelly of a snail. You can see that. So this is the pattern that we tie on either size 16 or size 14. Pretty little hooks for as big a fly as it comes on but it is virtually indestructible. I love fishing G snails because I can use the same hook or the same fly for a long time. They look really cool in the water. Fish love them. Snails are actually a big part of a trout's diet. I'm sure bass and bluegill eat them as well. But that my friends is our mini G snail fly. So thank you for watching and hope you guys can tie this fly and put it in your fly box and it becomes a part of your trout's food source. Thank you for watching.